What's up mga kaos mga kapabs and welcome once again to our Google Classroom Tutorial Series. Maraming maraming salamat nga po pala sa lahat ng mga nag-subscribe, nag-like at nag-shares ng mga videos ko. Lalong-lalo na itong ating tutorial na way nakatulong po sa inyo ng malaki. Lalong-lalo na sa mga kapwa kukuro out there. Maraming maraming salamat po. Aww. At para sa mga hindi pa nakakakilala sa akin at bago lang bumisita sa channel na to, my name is Clifford Nazaria. I love cooking and baking. Makikita niyo yun sa aking channel. I'm also a dance and singing enthusiast. That's why I do covers. I am an event coordinator and also a teacher in professional. Wow! Kaya nang gumawa ako ng ganitong klaseng video para makatulong sa ating kapwa guru Aww. para magamit ang ganitong klaseng platform sa ating pagtuturo lalo na ngayong panahon na tinatawag nating new normal na kung saan isa na nga dito ang tinatawag nating distance learning or online teaching wow. in terms of education. Ito ang ating new normal sa kagawaran ng edukasyon. Aww. Gusto nyong malaman at matutunan ang part na to ng ating series tutorial ng Google Classroom, ipagpatuloy lang ang panonood niyo. We are now in our sixth part of our Google Classroom series tutorial. And if you want to watch the other parts of this tutorial, just click the links on the description below or just simply click the card or the suggestion caption on the upper right of this video. For this video, I will show you how you can utilize your stream and how you can view and export grades on your Google Classroom. Let's start on utilizing the stream first. Like in our previous tutorial, once we open one of our class in Google Classroom, stream tab is the first page we will see we can see the different kinds of class details such as class name class section and the class code on the left side below are upcoming events where you can check your class works class works that are need to be reviewed or class work that is already reviewed like in facebook and other social media, we also have newsfeed and status box. Newsfeed is where you can see the latest activities down to the old one, while status box or text box is where we can post or type our announcement or anything you would like to share to your students. By clicking it, it will expand and you can type your message. We can also attach files from your Google Drive or local files on your computer, a link, and a YouTube video. We have three options in posting our status or announcement we want to share. Save draft if you don't want to post it and if you don't have yet a specific date when to post. While schedule is posting your assignment on a date you want to post it and post if you want to share or post your announcement immediately students access on your stream tab will depends on your settings click settings or the gear icon to go to the settings like what we did in part one of this tutorial when we want to change the code of our class under the general settings we have the stream under the class code and it has three options. Choose one that will suit for you or to your class. It's either you will allow them to post and comment, or they can only comment and not allowed to post. And the last one is only you, as their teacher, is allowed to post and comment on your stream. In short, you as their teacher has the only one who has the full control on your stream. When done, click Save. Stream tab is one of the great features on Google Classroom where you can connect with your learners. See to it that you make best use of this feature. 
The second one is how to view and export grades on your Google Classroom. Go to Grades tab and you will see the list of your students in your class and their class record in every class works. On each class works, you can edit, delete, or return all the scores given. You can also change scores that you gave to your students. Under grading settings, we have the overall grade calculation which have three options. Wherein for me, total points is the best but it is still depending on your preference. Once done, click save. In exporting grades, choose any of the classwork, then click the settings or the gear icon, and choose copy all grades to Google Sheets. Google Sheet tab will open, where you can see the summary of grades on your Google Classroom. It is automatically saved on your drive in classroom folder. If you learn a lot from this video, don't hesitate to click like, share, and the subscribe button. And if you want to be notified on my new videos, just click the bell button. For questions and suggestions, feel free to comment below. And thanks for watching!